in this video we will be introducing what is docker now we have already in previous video we have discussed about what is virtualization what is hypervisor here we will be introducing to you to the docker but before giving you the docker introduction we just want to visit their website now this is the their website www.docker.com build manage and secure your applications anywhere your way but the main thing that we are interested why docker so we will be giving certain advantages what docker can do for your business look at these figures 300% faster time to market 13% 1300% developer productivity 60% increase in deployment velocity 40% reduction in infrastructure cost 40% increase in it operational efficiency 12 to 72% faster is real that means docker is something which is going to change the it industry so we want to go into the detail what is docker so we are moving to the second slide so in the earlier we were discuss about what is virtualization and hypervisor in virtualization hardware is there like in my case i7 16 gb ram host operating system in my case was window 10 virtualization software choice was virtual box or vm web workstation in that we created the vm1 vm2 vm3 these vm could be windows could be linux then in this virtualization one problem was there that host os layer was vulnerable so they came up with another solution hypervisor in which they remove the host os layer that mean on hardware we can directly install the hypervisor on that we can create vm1 vm2 vm3 now the uh, two most robust hypervisor available are ESXi and second is Citrix Xen Express or Citrix Xen Server. Now where the docker fits? Again we are having the same hardware i7 16 GB RAM. On that host operating system this is preferably going to be Linux. On that we are going to install that docker. That means what your virtualization layer was doing or hypervisor layer doing same thing is done by the docker now by doc by using docker we are going to create the containers c1 c2 c3 always remember when you are using virtualization or hypervisor it is going to create vms in the case of docker it is going to create the containers to further explain the things now what is basically container what is the major difference between the virtual machines and containers when we are talking about the virtual machine suppose if i want uh, to launch simple python program so what i'm going to do i will have the full operating system linux there then i will install the uh, python program it is binary dependencies then I will run the Python program. That means even if I have written one line Python program, I need the whole operating system. That is the issue with the virtual machine. That means even for simple ping command, you need the whole operating system. Same way, second VM, that means it consumes lot of the resources. But on the other case, when we are talking about containers, in containers no need for the full guest operating system what this container is they are going to use they are going to use the kernel of the host operating system and what containers contain the docker container consists of just applications and their dependencies it runs using host operated system as isolated user process it just run as a one simple process containers share the same kernel Containers are very efficient and much more portable. That is the major difference. Now remember one thing, in when almost 20 years back when we started the carrier, okay, 
we were used to have the physical machines like if you i have to show you how to system pings so i will take to physical system from one physical system i will try to the ping to the second one then we move towards the vm virtual machines that mean we were having one physical machine on which we are going to install two vms then we will now the trend is shifting now in future you will not be getting physical machines or virtual machine most likely you are going to get the containers which are very lightweight to further differentiate what are the other major differences when i'm talking about virtualization whenever i have to create any virtual machine like in this case centos what i need if i am going to right click on this we will see i need one iso file if i have to create a virtual machine of centos i need centos iso if i have to install window 16 what i need i need the iso of window 16 now i if i am going to browse look at the size almost 6 gb more than 6 gb this 2016 iso if further i am going to show you like centos iso will be having the size almost 900 mb ubuntu 14 600 ubuntu 18 that mean whenever i have to create any vm i need iso the size of the iso could be from 700 mb to 6.5 gb when i'm using the docker i do not need iso what i need i need images and these images are called docker images and the size size of those images is hardly between 4 mb to 100 mb that been very lightweight as compared to the iso that mean if i am going to use a docker i will be needing docker images if i am going to use any virtualization solution like vmware workstation virtual box or kvm i will need isos for creating the vms in the case of docker i need to create the containers for that i need docker images the size of that will be 100 mb 4 mb to 100 mb and these docker images you do not have to download from separate sites it is just available on i will show you on this hub.docker.com here you can search if i want ubuntu image that is available you can go into the details it is available you have to just use the command docker pull ubuntu it will come to your operating system so again we are moving to the slides that mean i need images these all images are available on hub docker now the another major difference is when i am talking about the boot time when i am going to boot the vms it is going to take for 20 to 40 seconds but in the case of container when i am going to run the container it takes less than 1 second now another difference is when i am uh, i am creating the vms i need hard disk storage it could be from 4 gb to 60 gb while in the case of docker it is less than 1 mb almost negligible so lot of differences are there the size of images storage space ram required is very less in the case of container very less in the case of vms it, it is in gb 2 gb 4 gb 1 gb that mean it uses very light resources that is why sometimes we call this as lightweight virtualization if i have to compare this uh, uh, in real life this vm uses the resources like elephant in the case of uh, containers it uses the resources like a mouse very big difference and further if i have to further explain in layman terms ki what is vm the resource consumed by 
in my case like uh, 16 gb ram i7 processor if i have to launch simultaneously certain vms hardly i will be able to run six to seven vms simultaneously although i am having more than 70 to 80 vms but at a time i will be able to run five to six but in the case of containers i can run even 60 containers it is very less even i can run 600 containers that means it is very lightweight and sometimes docker is known by many other names sometimes when we are working on docker we say we are using docker based virtualization then another because docker creates containers so the another name is container based virtualization and uh, another name is os level virtualization because all the container use the kernel of the host operating system and because it uses very less resources that mean it is called lightweight virtualization and another name given to it is microservice because generally what we in the vm if we are programmer in same vm we will be having python java c c++ ruby but in the case of uh, this container we will be having one container which contains only python one container only java one container only contains c that is why it is sometimes called we are working on microservices architecture so in um, uh, next videos we will be looking at uh, what is the docker architecture these type of things